guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. A very exciting video today because the modifications continue on my E92 M3. Of course, the last video on the channel was me fitting the genuine silver 359M wheels on the car, which have completely transformed it. But now it's time to change the color on this car. There was actually a little bit of a teaser in that video. Those eagle-eyed viewers would have seen that. Um, but yeah, today we are wrapping my E92 M3. So there have been a few videos as of late on the channel of the modifications and additions to this car. Of course, you guys would have seen the installation of the uh, Armour Speed carbon fiber cold air induction kit. And also in the last video, as I mentioned, the installation of the genuine BMW 359M wheels. I think they look absolutely stunning. And to be honest, dare I say it, I think the look of the car now does look really, really clean. The Silverstone blue paint, which is quite a rare color really, it's pretty much silver on the car, but the silver on silver, looks really really clean so it's almost a shame to wrap it because i'm really happy with how it looks at the moment but the idea of that i've got for the wrap i think is going to look really really nice i have wrapped a few cars in the past some of which have been quite controversial but i think this one don't want to jinx it i think quite a lot of you are going to approve of don't worry we're not doing anything too crazy like the m140i wrap you will remember that the livery that i put on that car was pretty nuts and of course some of you didn't really like it but a reason why i went for the silver on the wheels was a large part of what i have in mind for the wrap i do have the vinyl in the boot which i will show you when we get down to my destination which is of course monster wraps the company who i've worked with quite a lot in the past with various wraps on my cars so it'd be rude not to take this thing over there when i had the idea to wrap the car one thing that i am doing differently for this wrap is actually going the full way and that is basically including the shuts and returns on the car so basically when you look around the car externally and internally you will not see a hint of silverstone blue at all meaning it is pretty much the closest you can get to a full color change on the car as i said i'm really really excited to get this thing wrapped because even though i do love the color it'll be nice to really change things up and i mean after about 18 months of ownership and about 26,000 miles i think a bit of a change up and a spruce up i think is well overdue so let's hop in get on the road get down to monster apps i can show you the vinyl and then it'll be a case of dropping it off to the guys so they can get to work Fun fact, this is the exact same space that I parked my M140i both before the wrap and also uh, two years later when I got the car unwrapped. Of course, we're here back at Monster Apps. As I mentioned, got the car here. First time this thing has been here. And yes, when it comes out of those shutters, a little bit later on in the video, it's gonna look completely different. Uh, I mean, the whole thing is gonna be wrapped minus the carbon roof. Of course, we're not gonna be wrapping uh, the roof, but the shuts returns and obviously the full exterior of the car will be transformed into a different color. Now, let me open the boot because in here, we do have a certain roll of vinyl. If you watched the video of the new wheels, you would have seen this lingering in the back. And of course, we're going for the Inosatec film, arguably the industry leaders for film. And you will see why in a moment. I'm sure you guys have seen various cars out there finished in uh, a film by these guys. Or maybe you have a car already wrapped in an Ozotec film, but it's the most paint-like vinyl you can possibly get. For those of you who saw my M140i, which was, I think, wrapped in 3M film, it did have that kind of orange peely effect. With this, you do not get that at all. But in here, we have the color. And I think, I don't want to jinx it again, I think quite a lot of you are gonna like it. So we'll get this out of the way a little bit. And I can show you the Anosatec Midnight Green Metallic, which this car is going to be wrapped in with the silver wheels and the carbon roof and some other carbon bits. I think this thing is going to look absolutely mega. It just has so much depth in it. For a vinyl material, that is absolutely breathtaking. Um, so yeah, I think this is definitely going to look pretty cool on the car, even on a dull day like this, just from above like that. It's a really, really nice color. But of course, as I mentioned, with the depth of the film on a sunny day, which maybe we're not gonna really get much of at this time of year, it's gonna look absolutely awesome. I think it would be criminal if I kept the wheels in black. But yeah, what do you guys think? Midnight green metallic in Nosatec film going on the M3. For those of you interested in learning more about the Inosatec film and the complete range they offer, they have just actually uh, released a ton more 
uh, different colours off the back of SEMA this year. So I will leave all the details down in the description down below. But yes, this is the final time we're gonna see the car finished in Silverstone Blue. To be honest, there's a small part of me which wishes that maybe we ran this look for a little bit longer because it looks so clean. Although having said that, I think this thing is gonna look absolutely mega once it's all wrapped in the midnight green metallic. I do need to get a new front splitter and I still need to work out what I'm gonna do with the plates because of course, infamously on this car, we do have some pretty nasty plate holes, which I think will pretty well be covered by the wrap um, because they aren't really sticking out at all uh, on the panel, um, but I might just fit some proper uh, full-size plates. But yeah, we're gonna be leaving the car here for about a week or so. And yeah, it's gonna be completely transformed. It's the exciting part. We're back here at Monster Apps and behind that shutter is the M3, of course. Yeah, it's been a pretty involving process, this having the shuts and returns done, the first time I've ever done that on a car. But yes, I'm very excited. It actually came down today in a friend's car, which you've seen on the channel before, another Anosatec wrapped car. This is Anosatec Midnight Purple. So basically the purple equivalent uh, of mine in the Midnight Green, but yeah, cool car that. You probably recognize it from some videos lately, but, We'll get this open and reveal to you the M3. I'm actually quite nervous, um, a little bit shaky, but yeah, we'll get it up and show you all the M3 now in its new look. Door is coming up. Thankful that we've got a sunny day. Oh, <laughs> there it is. There it is. Oh my days, look at that. That looks insane. How into the sunshine. The M3 now completely transformed. Oh, I see the nice little stickers, nice little Easter eggs. That looks absolutely nuts. Oh, <laughs> absolutely nuts. What do you all think then? I am absolutely obsessed with how this thing looks. There's so much depth in this wrap. I've never seen a finish quite like it. I mean, look at that, zooming right in. Absolutely insane. So this, as I've mentioned multiple times, is the Anosatec Midnight Green Metallic Wrap. It's actually quite a hard color to film. Uh, it changes so much in different lights. So in the kind of the shadows, it's a really deep, almost flat green and then you get it in the light and it just absolutely sparkles and for a vinyl as well to have that kind of reflection is pretty incredible as well the sparkle the depth the reflection <laughs> it is very cool and of course we've done as much as we can as well so it's not just an exterior wrap we've done the full shuts and returns as well of course some aspects like the hinges uh, you can't wrap um, but yeah full shuts and returns as well. I mean, how epic is that? How epic is that? I still have a few more things to do on the exterior of the car to really tidy it up. Of course, recently we've done uh, the new wheels, the genuine 359M wheels, but I do need a new rear badge. This has definitely seen better days, unfortunately. And I also feel like I need an M3 badge. I've never run uh, a badge on the back of the car. It's always been debadged since I've owned it. I think I need to get myself a badge, but Look at that, look at that color. So cool, so, so cool. And yeah, let me know what you think of the new look of the car. Midnight green metallic and carbon go pretty well together if you ask me. Now, even though this color comes alive in the sun, even in the shade, I mean, look at this. Such a nice, shade of green with the silver wheels as well. I just think it looks so good. 
Let me look at that, get some polarization on that. Ooh, yes. I am honestly blown away with how this looks. It looks completely different. That's the thing, whenever I get a car wrapped, I'm always surprised. I'm always surprised in the same way. I've been so familiar with the color of this car and the, the wheels that are on it. And I, I know these are still fairly new, but I just knew how the car looked. And when those shutters came up and I saw my plate and I saw the car looking completely different, it didn't feel like mine. It was almost like I put my plate on a different car, but look at that. That just looks incredible. I am obsessed. And yes, like I said, there is still a few more bits I need to do to the exterior of the car. There's also some bits I need to do on the interior uh, and maybe under the bonnet as well. So there's still lots planned, but for now at least, all focus is on the color, the new look. This is why I got the wheels in silver, by the way. They did look pretty cool in uh, satin black. There's the uh, M140, <laughs> um, but yeah, so good. I could look at this for hours. So a big thank you not only goes to Monster Apps, of course, for completely transforming the car. They've absolutely smashed it out of the park. First time I've done shuts and returns as well for a wrap. And of course, to Anosa Tech as well for, well, creating this incredible vinyl. Look at the reflections. Maybe slightly cliche, but it, it genuinely looks like paint. For now at least though, I haven't driven this car in about a week. And so I need to hop in and re-familiarize myself. And it's gonna be a little bit unusual looking in the mirrors and seeing green rather than Silverstone blue. Well, there we are. The car is now midnight green. This is something I've been wanting to do for a little while actually, but not necessarily on this car. I've got plenty of friends with a Nozotech vinyl on their car, including Jack, who's behind me in his M140i in midnight purple. But yeah, I, I, to be honest, a wrap on the M3 was not at the top of the list. It's something which I maybe toyed with the idea of doing, but when I kind of started this mini series of giving this thing a bit of a makeover, I thought, do you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. It'll cover up some of the uh, small blemishes on the car. I mean, as you've probably seen in the videos, this car uh, is quite heavily stone chipped to the front end. Of course, it's used every day um, and it's done 91,993 miles uh, up until right now. So yeah, naturally you're gonna have um, some little bits and bobs here and there. But yeah, I'm so happy that I've done it. So happy, and of course. And as I said, Jack is over my shoulder and his M140, you might be able to see that epic looking thing. But yeah, it's just nice to be uh, back behind the wheel of the car, really. Been without it for about a week. <laughs> Valve's open, has to be done. Some of you may remember the M140i, um, my previous car before the A45S, that was wrapped by Monster Apps. Um, and that did definitely split some opinions um, with how that looked and what I did with it. And I'm hoping that this is slightly more appreciated. That car was very out there. And whilst I don't do things for other people to like, I do things for me to like and enjoy. The fact I can share it with people online is just a bonus for me. And if people like it, then great. If they don't, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, I think that green at the moment, this kind of green is very popular, hence why I know Tech have, of course, developed uh, a paint like vinyl uh, to really do it its justice. Um, but yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I think on the M3, it looks absolutely insane. I don't think it's the first though. I think there's a car in America, which is wrapped in this same vinyl and it suits it really well. <laughs> but yeah, we've got the car back, it's wrapped, and it looks mega, I think. Of course, as I said, please do let me know in the comments what you think, whether you like it, whether you don't like it, whether I should have gone midnight purple, like what Jack's car is uh, behind me, which you've seen on the channel before. But for me today, that is it. Again, a big thank you to both Anototech and also Monster Apps. As I've mentioned a minute ago, you can find all the details for Monster Apps' services and everything in the description, and also for the full range of Anototech vinyls down in the description as well. There's plenty of dealers worldwide, so you don't necessarily have to be in the UK. Yeah, go check them out. They're bringing out loads of different vinyls at the moment, so I wouldn't be surprised if you see a few that you like. But yes, that is it for me today. Stay tuned for more M3 content, because uh, there's still a few other things which are kind of in the works, uh, and obviously the adventures with all the other cars, as well as say all, with both the other cars as well. Lots of changes going on. But yes, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come.